Good morning. This is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated Jernita morning headlines on April 21, 2022. Mikhail Nagamov, commander of Russian Sapper Regiment, killed in Ukraine. The Independent, another Russian colonel dies in war with Ukraine as Vladimir Putin's armed forces continue to sustain losses. Evening Standard, Russian captain of Black Sea landing ship killed in Ukraine invasion in latest blow for Putin. The Independent, captain of large Russian landing ship killed in Ukraine. Trump campaign ordered to pay Omarosa Manigault Newman over $1.3 million. The Guardian, Trump campaign ordered to pay $1.3 million settlement to Omarosa Manigault Newman in NDA case. The Independent, Trump campaign ordered to pay $1.3 million to Omarosa Manigault Newman in NDA case. The New York Times, Omarosa Manigault Newman awarded $1.3 million in legal fees from Trump campaign. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen joins Ukraine walkout of G20 meeting as Russian officials start speaking. The Independent, Yellen tells Indonesian finance minister, no business as usual for Russia. Reuters, Yellen, war in Ukraine making food insecurity worse. Bloomberg Politics, Yellen, Ukraine official walkout of Russia's G20 remarks. The Associated Press, G20 members condemn Russia's war in Ukraine, after Yellen and others stage walkout. Holding back the years, why everyone in South Korea could soon be getting younger. The Guardian, why an age rule change could see South Koreans becoming a year younger. Florida advances bill to repeal Disney's private district amid don't say gay feud. The Guardian, years of fruitful relations between Disney, Florida at risk. The Independent, Desantis rush to battle Disney puts $1 billion of Mooney debt in question. Bloomberg, Florida Senate votes to eliminate Disney's self-governing authority and tax breaks. NBC News, how Florida residents could end up paying for the GOP's war with Disney over, don't say gay. War in Ukraine is a gold rush for Western arms makers, experts say. The Independent, live updates, US set to send more military aid to Ukraine. Bloomberg, as Russia mounts new offensive, Western allies help for Ukraine could be too little, too late. Politico Europe, US will send more artillery to help Ukraine repel Russian assault. Financial Times, what happens to weapons sent to Ukraine? The US doesn't really know. US, UK and Canada walk out of G20 meeting over war in Ukraine. The Guardian, UK, US and Canada left G20 meeting when Russia spoke, UK says. Reuters UK, G20 finance chiefs to signal Russia to blame for growth fallout. Bloomberg, G20 delegates to stage protests against Russia over Ukraine war. The Guardian, Britain to attend some G20 meetings, keep pressure on Russia, UK source. China internet senses scramble as lockdown frustration sparks creative wave of dissent. The Guardian, Shanghai allows millions to leave their homes as lockdowns hammer growth prospects. Financial Times, Shanghai allows 4 million out of homes as virus rules ease. The Independent, The Guardian view on China's zero Covid strategy, no way out. The Guardian, fear, paranoia, anger, this is life under China's zero Covid strategy. Alec Baldwin rust shooting, Helena Hutchins death caused by complete failure to follow gun safety rules. Sky News, Alec Baldwin shooting, highest possible fine for film company behind rust after firearm safety failings. Evening Standard, rust producers find maximum amount for safety lapses that led to gun death. The Guardian, rust production company fined after report finds plain indifference to safety. Belfast Telegraph, Alec Baldwin rust shooting, produces new gun safety rules were not followed. Boris Johnson casts doubt on possibility of negotiated peace in Ukraine. The Guardian, Ukrainian town to rename street in honor of new hero Boris Johnson. The Telegraph, negotiations with Russia doomed to fail, says Johnson. Evening Standard, UK PM Johnson says Ukraine peace talks are doomed because of crocodile Putin. Reuters.com, Russia-Ukraine latest news, peace talks doomed because of crocodile Putin, says Johnson. French election, Macron and Le Pen clash in TV presidential debate. BBC, Macron, Le Pen set for rematch in French presidential election on April 24th. 
Washington Post, Barclays credit strategists warn on nonchalance over Le Pen win. Bloomberg, a win for Macron will not be a complete defeat for France's far right. The Guardian, Macron-Le Pen debate, key moments in the French election head-to-head. Putin tests new nuclear-capable intercontinental missiles saying it will make Russia's enemies think twice. The Independent, Russia tests nuclear-capable missile in warning to enemies. The Guardian, Putin warns new Sarmat intercontinental ballistic missile will make enemies think twice. The Telegraph, Russia tests nuclear-capable intercontinental missile. The Independent, Russia tests nuclear-capable missile as Vladimir Putin issues warning to enemies. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.